We're going on a journey through a week called Holy Week. That's the last seven days of Jesus' life leading up to his death and resurrection. And we've got to Maundy Thursday. That's quite an odd word, and we need to explore what that means. In most, in most European languages, it's known as Holy Thursday, but in English, always as Maundy Thursday, certainly since the Middle Ages. So what's going on here? Well, what actually happens on Maundy Thursday in the Bible? Thursday is the day that Jesus gets arrested, but a lot of other things happen. He's in Jerusalem. There's all sorts of commotion about him. People are concerned. He has lots of supporters. His followers are very worried because he keeps on talking about his death in Jerusalem. They don't quite know what that's going to mean. What does it look like? What does it mean for them? And then in the evening, after solemn preparations, he gathers with his friends in an upper room And over supper, he says some very dark words about the future. You're going to desert me. I'm going to be on my own. I'm leaving, but I will return to take you with me. He shares bread and wine. He says, this is my body, this is my blood. That's a sign that Christians still use to this day of the blessing of God in Jesus Christ. There's a darkness over the whole scene. And after supper, they sing a hymn and go to a garden. He takes three of his closest friends and says, watch with me. And they fall asleep. And Jesus is in real disarray. He marches back and forth. He lies on the ground. He says to God, take this cup away from me. But but if it's your will, I will drink it. There's a deep sense of isolation, of desolation. And then along come the soldiers and arrest him and his disciples all run away just as he predicted the the evening and the way we celebrated in church kind of is meant to recall this ends simply in silence as we're sitting in this place of absence has god become distant and difficult what happens next in the story 